<laughs> that obviously so is because dramatic. we're talking about Beethoven today. Dr. Jarian, there's some interesting new information that they've discovered from a lock of Beethoven's hair. I love this. When you have science of today to solve the questions of the past. So this is a new finding that they found in terms of understanding how Beethoven died. And so when we look at over 200 years ago, there was a lot of theories based off of diaries and journal entries in terms of his symptoms. But now using locks of his hair that have been preserved over those 200 years, they were able to identify specific findings that could lead to reasons why he might have died. One of them being extremely high levels of lead, more than 300 times the amount of lead that you would typically find in hair found in his locks of hair, which may have contributed to his hearing loss towards the uh, middle of his life. That's amazing that they can find that through a lock of hair. It's incredible. The genetic analysis that's available now through the, Ma the Mayo Clinic, which is where they did it at, they were not only able to find extremely high levels of lead, but they were also able to do genetic analysis on the hair to find that he had a predisposition for liver disease. And what connects both of these things is his use of alcohol. In that time, they used alcohol, often thinking of it as a health aid. Oh, right. And it, lead was used, lead acetate was used as a sweetener in alcohol, which unfortunately gave many people unknowingly lead poisoning. Uh, towards the end of his life, he was known for not being in his right mind. Do you think the lead played a part of that? You know, I think strongly when you try to connect all of these various symptoms, lead poisoning can be very confusing and often missed because it often presents with a variety of symptoms, fatigue, lethargy, deafness. And so that might have contributed to all of these symptoms. It might be the answer why he might not have been in his right state of mind. Uh -huh. See, he's not only a doctor, he is a Beethoven expert. <laughs> <laughs> You're so impressive. Biological history is my specialty. <laughs> Thanks, oh, Dr. Jerry. We'll course. be back in just a bit. <laughs>